Welcome back. This is still TV3 New Day. Yesterday, we here at Media General launched your election command center as we begin discussions towards a credible free and fair elections comes uh, December this year. And so we are asking you to tell us whether all the processes we've been through as a nation, whether you see peace at the end of the tunnel. Send us your views and comments on all our social media platforms, TV3 Ghana, read them and share them with the rest of the world. We've been joined in studio as we begin the discussions towards ensuring a free and credible election. George Amo is the acting executive secretary of the National Peace Council. Good morning, sir. Good morning. The Electoral Commission is set to uh, deploy some 8,000 registration devices to cover some 32,000 police stations as it begins the compilation of a new voters register. Do we need a new voters register at this time? Thank you once again and uh, uh, let me say uh, hello to our listeners and uh, viewers. Uh, I think that uh, the Electoral Commission has been given a mandate. The mandate includes compiling a voters register. and. Uh, they have that mandate, mm -hmm. and I think all of us would have to respect that. Mm -hmm. Whether we have a new or an existing or an old register, for me or for us in the Peace Council, mm -hmm. it's not the issue. The issue is let us have a credible electoral rule. Do, we, do you think we have a credible electoral rule so far? Whether we have it or not, uh, I think... Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I cannot judge on that. But the processes leading to a compilation mm -hmm. or whatever we will call it, mm -hmm. a new or old, I think that is key. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to ensure there is openness and transparency. Uh, the processes can pass the test of integrity. Mm -hmm. It also that we have a final register, whether new, old, or whatever we would call it. But there are concerns, but about, the, the, there are concerns about the posture of the Electoral Commission, for instance, the fact that they feel that uh, individuals, corporate institutions, the other political parties of position, everyone is saying, uh, most people are saying that, you know what, we may not need a new register now. Mm. Let's use what we have now to conduct the elections, and then maybe next year or the year after we can compile. What's your position? What do you, what do you make of that? Etienne, can you vouch for... Uh, an old register, the integrity of an existing register. It can be tempered with. I don't have the expertise. Yes. Mm. So that is what we are trying to say, whether we keep to the existing one or we compile a new one. Mm -hmm. the, the new or old can be subject to any manipulation from any, any quarters if mm -hmm. we are not watchful mm -hmm. as a people. Mm -hmm. So I think the underlying interest should be a credible register. Mm -hmm. And I think it is time you move from whether we want a new. I know there are other groups who are calling for a new register. Others are saying that we should keep to what we have. Mm -hmm. But either of the two, I am not sure is the issue. Mm. The issue is let us have a credible register. Mm. Whether it is old or new, the processes that we would have to go through or the electoral commission would have to go through let us ensure that it gives us a product that is credible, let's that discuss, all of us can trust. Mm, let's discuss um, this concern about uh, the inter-party discussions on uh, us signing, as a country, signing an MOU yeah. on vigilantism. What, what do you make of that? Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I think somewhere last year, mm -hmm. we all started, you know, because uh, Vigilantism became a monster, you know, that mm -hmm. <laughs> we woke up one day and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, trying to devour all of us. Uh, we've created it and we have to find ways of dealing with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Peace Council uh, provided uh, facilitation mm -hmm. uh, for the new Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Congress mm -hmm. uh, to come to the table. Mm -hmm. uh, partners, uh, including the Electoral Commission itself, uh, including uh, uh, the National Commission for Civic Education, the Commission of Human Rights and mm -hmm. Religious Justice, the Small Arms Commission, mm -hmm. the Police Service. We met, mm -hmm. you know, to make input into 
uh, coming up with a roadmap or a code of conduct mm -hmm. that uh, would help us programmatically mm -hmm. to deal with the issue from short but, to but, long but term. Do you, but do you think it will work? I'm asking, or mm. do you think practically we will have that impact on the elections? I'm asking because, you know, when we mark the one-year anniversary mm. of uh, the uh, Ayawa So West war gone by elections, yeah. the violence that characterized that elections, yeah. um, there were concerns that NDC... Uh, could have had a more national dialogue yeah. by inviting other stakeholders like the National Peace Council, like uh, representatives of the current government, yeah. so that as a country we are having a holistic discussion on how to ensure that vigilantism is a thing of the past, especially mm. as we head towards the general elections. So as signing an MOU and looking at what we've gone through in the past, you think that politicians and all the other stakeholders are ready? Yeah, I think the signs are good that uh, they all mean well uh, after all the, uh, the, the dialogue sessions uh, really uh, left no doubt in my mind mm -hmm. that uh, the political parties are, are willing and mean well mm -hmm. uh, in dealing with this issue of uh, vigilantism. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we also have a role to play as civil society uh, to you know, help them because uh, unfortunately this issue has come up on all of us. Uh, how do we deal with it? Because uh, I tell you, if we think it is the issue of the political parties alone, uh, we, we are not being realistic. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if, for example, you are going to cover or TV3 is, is, is there to cover a program mm -hmm. uh, being organized by any of the political parties, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. you know? So uh, it is a collective responsibility that all of us would have to uh, I mean, do. And uh, I think the parties mean well. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. hopeful that going into the next elections, which is very close to mm -hmm. us, uh, the issue of vigilantism, at least the structures have been well placed to deal with them. There's a law now, you are aware, mm -hmm. at 999, mm -hmm. passed by Parliament. Yeah, we have a lot of laws. It. It's about the enforcement of the law. Yes, uh, that, is, that is why mm -hmm. uh, Etunam, uh, mm -hmm. the Peace Council and our partners have been able to produce a roadmap mm -hmm. that will programmatically deal with the issue. Well, we're hopeful that that roadmap will be followed through and because enforcement of laws is a problem in this country. George Amo is uh, the acting executive uh, secretary of the National Peace Council. We've been discussing whether or not we are ready to, you know, uh, maintain the peace as a country as we head towards elections 2020 in December.